amazing day. How was your Christmas? I had literally the best Christmas ever. Like genuinely the best Christmas of my whole entire adult life. Obviously it's a bit different from when you were a child. It's in fact very different. But as Christmases go over the last few years, I genuinely just had the best time ever yesterday. But how was yours? Let me know in the comments. What was a highlight? What did you get up to? And welcome back to the vlog. So I did not think I would be vlogging again this soon. However, I've decided today I want to go along to the Harrod sale and I've never been to a Boxing Day sale. I don't think ever. I mean, maybe if I have, it's it's been like one time, but I really want to go and see what it's all about and just go and do some shopping. And even if I don't end up buying anything, I think it would be so much fun just to kind of experience it. So I thought that was worth filming and I could take you with me. I am going solo. I love a solo shopping trip. I don't want to have to wait for anyone or be worried that I'm dragging anyone behind or you know miss out on anything because I'm trying to manage someone else's expectations of the day so I'm going to go solo so I can weave in and out of the crowd and see if I can find anything I mean I know all of the food in the food hall gets discounted literally Christmas Eve so I don't know if there'll be any of that left but their seasonal reductions that they had pre-Christmas were really good so I don't know more than anything, I'm just going because I'm super, super curious and I kind of want to be like a fly on the wall and just go and see what's going on. I think because I don't really have any intentions of like actually buying anything, I am just, I'm really curious. It was a very different Christmas for me this year. We all spent it at my older sister's house with her partner's family, which we actually usually ended up doing, partner, husband. We usually ended up doing something with them like Christmas Eve or Boxing Day anyway. So it kind of just made sense. And it was just really, really lovely. We also did something that I thought was really lovely. So obviously Christmas Day, whoever hosts usually cooks. And I don't know about you, but if that's ever like my mom, she just ends up being a bit isolated in the kitchen or it's a lot of pressure on one person. So what we did, we all bought different things so my mum dad and sister were on starters and desserts duty so they bought smoked salmon prawns on this like display I think I actually took a photo and then they also did a Brussels pate set up and then for puddings they just did you know the typical Christmas puddings panna cotta profiteroles eaten mess and then my brother-in-law's parents and brother-in-law's sister does that make her my sister-in-law or no? I don't know how that works actually. I've never thought about that. Anyway, her and her partner bought a ton of the things for the main and then so did my brother-in-law's parents. They did the turkey. And then my sister and brother-in-law did roast potato and what else did they do? Stuffing and obviously all snacks and chocolates and bits like that. I took some very rogue things. I took a mac and cheese because Sophie doesn't really love Christmas dinner. So I decided to take something that I knew she would like and I also knew I would get absolutely rinsed for it but at the same time knew that they would all eat it so it's exactly what happened I got absolutely rinsed they're like who even brings mac and cheese to Christmas dinner and I was like yeah I know anyway five minutes later everybody was going up for mac and cheese seconds so I would say it was a hit and I also took some red cabbage and Brussels sprouts but I just thought that was a really really lovely way to do Christmas because nobody was stressed out everybody was really proud of their contribution and we all got to eat food that we love because you know there is something to be said about eating your own food and enjoying your own food so I would highly recommend that if you've never tried it and you're down for something new on Christmas next year definitely try splitting the food duties obviously it depends how close you live but to be fair I traveled two hours and we just put it in the oven. I just made sure that it could go in the oven with enough time. That for me was an absolute highlight of the day. Everyone bringing their own bits and bobs. This has turned into a complete Christmas debrief. <laughs> and then obviously we just spent the afternoon playing games, chilling out. I had a nap as you do on Christmas and it was just divine. So I've just come downstairs to make some breakfast and it's hit me that I have no leftovers because I'm not at home. And that's so strange. Normally on Boxing Day I'm eating like cheese and turkey and so I guess I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl but 
look what arrived if you missed it i basically had some bows made for my tree and they were in liberty fabrics and i got one made in this fabric which is actually a liberty jack wheels collaboration and i found this on vintage so many of you sent me links this was actually one of the links that one of you guys sent me and i'm over the moon i now own the dress and i have the bows and i was thinking i could even wear one of the bows in my hair but the goal is not this year next year i want to wear this one night during christmas and have my friends over and then i'll have the bows on the tree and it would be a cute little thing i just thought that was really sweet but yeah let's make some food i'm hungry i actually have quite a lot to catch up with you on but today is like i'm gonna start setting goals for the new year i love to spend this time between christmas and new year prepping for january 1st so when it comes i don't freak out i will not start my new year's resolutions and i mean they're not even resolutions like new year's things routines and things that i've told them maybe they maybe they just are resolutions but i will not start living my life the way I want to on January 1st. On January 1st I will start implementing things each day between now and then because then it's just way less scary. I hate the idea of New Year's resolutions. It freaks me out. So I have some yogurt. I have a new box of chocolate protein crunch. I want to clear my fridge out, clear my pantry out, do all of that. And very excitingly, my wallpaper arrived for the bathroom. So this is what I'm doing. This is a New Year's project. It's Love Shack Fancy. It's blue. I think this is the eye, eye cat. I think it's called. I don't know if it says on it. I've been looking at this for so long and finally took the plunge and hopefully this will look really good in the bathroom. I just thought it was really true to that whole kind of like cottage core that I wanted in the bathroom. I do want to wallpaper the ceiling, but that just sounds like an absolute nightmare for maintenance, especially in a bathroom. So we're not, we're doing the walls, but I'm so happy and I can't believe it's finally here. This is about to be the most random yogurt bowl because I really don't have very much. I've also realized I have no fruit which is such a shame. So I'm just going to do a couple scoops of, no, a few scoops of yogurt. I've never tried this one. This is from the Dorset Dairy Co. And it's just the yogurt. Let's add some sunflower seeds. I have a brand new tub of peanut butter, which for some reason, the oil's everywhere. I don't know why. Let's do a big spoon of this. Oh, this isn't going to be as good without the fruit on. I'm gonna add some choco protein crunch on top. Just for a little bit of texture. <gasps> oh no, I dropped it. Oh, this is why I never keep it in the bag. I need to transfer this to the tub. Okay, perfect. And this is my breakfast. I always end up with two spoons and I actually prefer to use the smaller spoon. <laughs> What's the temperature? Okay, yeah, I mean, it's nine degrees, so I definitely need a proper coat. If I end up buying something nice, I want to feel put together and have a good memory of it, and we all know how obsessed I am with my association. See, now the cardigan looks weird. I feel like I have to do it up, but then the top looks weird. I'm doing it up. I'm so excited. I, do you think I need a scarf? No, nine degrees is not scarf weather. I do put my bags under my coats. Don't judge me. No, I need a scarf. I'm definitely a bag under the coat kind of person, especially in the city, because it just feels so much safer. Also, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the lovely comments on my Christmas Eve vlog. It really was so lovely to sit and have a chat at the end of the vlog about how I felt vlogmas had gone. I can't even explain to you how grateful I am that you guys still tune into my life and you care enough to click the videos. And those comments were just the kindest things in the world. And I know for sure if I'm having a bad day, I'm probably gonna go back and read those comments. Like they were just so kind so yeah thank you so much for being here sticking with me hopefully i can entertain you a little bit between christmas and new year and then come january i am probably going to take a second off vlogging just so i can pull my life together a little bit i feel like a lot of things have slipped because i've been vlogging and i just owe certain areas of my life a little bit more attention so that's definitely what january is going to be used for but i'll obviously still be on instagram and tiktok and snapchat i just won't be doing the vlogs for a bit but then again, what is there really to miss in January? And it also means I'll come back with a ton of house updates. I, I will be filming, like when I'm getting the wallpaper done and stuff, I will absolutely film it. I just won't be coming out with a new vlog every single week. So I hope you don't mind. I hope you can give me a little bit of grace on that one. And then, oh, let me put my rings on. And then as things start to get a little bit more interesting as we go into February, I shall be back. Maybe even sooner, who knows? I said I didn't know if I was going to be here between Christmas and New Year, and here we are on the 26th of December. I had one day off. 
one. It's a nightmare. I need to relax, really. And as you can imagine, it was so insanely loud out and about. So welcome to me voiceovering. Also, question I have whilst I'm sat here doing this. Why is cranberry sauce cranberry sauce and not cranberry jam? So I got to Harrods and I saw the Neverfull BB, which I love the look of but despise the strap. It's such a cute bag and I would buy it in a heartbeat if it didn't have <laughs> the ugly strap. I went up to shoe heaven and it was pretty normal except from at the shoe sale, which was honestly chaos, but it was so well stocked. Everything was laid out in size order. So that made it so much easier and there was a ton of staff around to help. So I went down to Women's Contemporary and how gorgeous is this? Is Balmoran do these fleeces every year and they're never in the sale, but they're so nice. Nice. They laid all the dresses out in colour order, which was actually really helpful. There was a ton of age, a ton of self-portraits. There was even some Anim Bing in the sale, which was really fun. Everything was also, again, just laid out so perfectly. It was so tidy. There was so many staff around. I went and had a look at the Ray-Bans because I was looking to buy a pair. And the loveliest lady helped me out. It was such a great experience considering the store was pretty busy. I wanted to go and see what they had in the sale at Lulu, but got completely distracted by these Varley jackets. How gorgeous are these? I used to have a North Face one like this, but just fell out of love with it. And these are so much more feminine. Also, how stunning is this? All of the ski gear just really got me, but I was like, you don't need it, you don't need it, but they had a ton. But yeah, as you can see, the store's not like crazy busy, but in, I guess, more popular areas like the food hall, it was absolutely rammed, and obviously you saw in shoe heaven, but I actually wanted to go and have a look at the swimwear. Also, look at this Elnet bag, how random. And it was really quiet. Oh, skims as well was quite busy, but they actually had some really good pieces on sale, which is really cool to see. I wanted to see if they had any of the Hunza G pieces in store that they had online in the sale, but I actually couldn't find any of them. But I did spend quite a while having a look at all the swimwear. It's so nice to actually be able to touch it. But yeah, I loved that dress. I actually have the bikini in this color. Oh my goodness, this set. I was so tempted. The sizing looks spot on. I feel like this is the type of thing I'll pass on now and be like, I'll come back in the summer and then it just won't be in stock. Oh my goodness, these beach bags. And there was a dinky one as well. But do you not think everything would just fall out? I was really drawn in by this rail. I loved the piping on the swimsuit and the bikini. I did prefer the plain ones, but I feel like these are giving quiet luxury. I really, really like those. And then I headed over to Skims. As I said, they had some really good sales. This was, I think, 27 down from 54, but they only had larges and above. So I moved on to all of the skincare and it was okay. I would say the best discounts were Kiehl's and Clinique. Sadly, none of the Kiehl sets had exactly what I wanted in them. Occasionally, you can get the limited edition Christmas ultra facial cream on sale, but sadly not today. So this is the food haul. It was pretty chaotic. All of the Christmas food that was left was 50% off, 30% off. The hampers were discounted. People were going absolutely wild and it was so insanely busy. But I have to say, I really thought there would be more food on sale. It was all the Harrods own brand things. These were the tartar sauces, the cranberry sauce. I mean, I've never tried any of it. Oh, but they did have these biscuitier ones on sale. But I went into the chocolate hall expecting all of the Christmas chocolates to be discounted and they really weren't. I was ready to go to Ladderac and, and stock up, you know? But sadly, no, it was more things like this. The Harrods branded sweets and the chocolates from them. There was this Christmas tree that was made out of chocolate. But yeah, none of the branded food was actually on discount. These are Clinique gift sets that I was telling you about. So this one, I feel like this is an okay discount, but this one here was the really good one. So it's 125 down to 62.50, and all the products are so good. I then headed on the tube over to St. Pancras to my favorite place in the world. I went to grind and picked up some coffee. Finally, they had some in stock and got myself a little Cortado too. Well, that was something. It wasn't as crazy as I was expecting, and even on the tube, it wasn't that crazy. Some shops weren't open though, so I don't know if maybe most people go sail shopping tomorrow. Harrods was insane on the ground floor, but as you went up, it wasn't really any busier than it usually is, but they had some insane discounts. They had skims for half price. They had the Miu Miu ready to wear collection was so heavily discounted. I mean, obviously it's still thousands, but half price, that's just crazy. I bought one thing and it wasn't actually even on sale, but this was something that I was wanting to get. 
and I am undecided whether I'm going to give it as a gift or if I'm going to keep it and then just kind of share the excitement with the person that I think might like it. I think if I gift it to them, they will just put it in a drawer and never end up using it. Whereas I think I will use this in my daily life. So I think I'm going to keep it and then I'm just not going to actually start using it until I, um, you know, spend some time with that person. So it is the Ray-Ban Meta sunglasses. I don't know why more people on making, I'll show you in there. Oh no, I can't because it's, it's sealed. Okay, well I can't unbox them, but I don't know why more people aren't hyping over these. They look so insanely good and I love, I love a tech item. I just feel like for the times that I don't have a free hand, like for example at the airport and I want to film portrait video, this will change my world. So we'll see. I might start using them and not get on with them, but I really, really hope I will. And it's something that I've done a lot of research on. So I was so happy that I could go and pick those up today in Harris. I didn't know if they'd have them, but they did. And the girl who helped me was so so lovely so I will let you know how I get on with them once I've got them like opened and going and everything I will show you but it won't be for maybe a couple weeks and then I ran as you saw to St Pancras to grind I also ran into M&S and got some snacky bits but I wanted to go to grind to get some coffee beans they'd run out pre-Christmas and I managed to get some so I got a couple of the house blend and then I got a couple of the dark blend and they're always so nice in there. But uh, genuinely, I know every time I go into that coffee shop, I gush about them, but I'm about to do it again because they are just so nice. And then they had a collaboration with Hit, which is like oat milk chocolate, or I don't know oat milk, but oat chocolate. And they gave me these and they were giving them out to everyone who bought coffee today. I've tried some, this is a salty caramel, it's so good. And then this is the salty pretzel. I also did get myself an oat flat white. No, an oat cortado actually, and it was divine. But yes, that's everything I purchased. I did want to go and have a look at one of the bags of Mew Mew at Harrods, but they didn't have it. And to be honest now, I am really, you know what I'm actually waiting for? The new Louis Vuitton collection to drop on the first because they have a new denim collection and the Nano Speedy just looks so up my street. And I just, oh my goodness. I was really tempted actually by the Nano Neverfull. And then I saw the strap, it's like a guitar. It's just not, it's not my thing. I don't love it, it's too much. So I passed on that when that came out. And yeah, now the denim Nano Speedy, I'm like, oh, that could be a bit of me. I do collect Nano Speedies. I've got my little pink one. So yeah, I didn't purchase anything else besides food. Honey mustard sausages, these are amazing. And then these are my new hyperfixation from Marks and Spencers, the chorizo chicken empanadas. They are so good. But yeah, I just, I, it's not what I expected when it came to sale shopping. I feel like nobody was doing much shopping and it was just full of people with screaming children. I just don't know why you would put your child through that. I feel like that's not fun for the children, but at the same time, I appreciate you've got to live your life still when you have children. And if that's something you want to do, you obviously, you know, have to take your child with you. But yeah, I just, I felt sorry for a couple of the kids in there because I know when I was younger that would have been my idea of absolute hell. It was funny, like I I don't think I'll rush back next year. The sales were fun to see, but the Harris sale online is really good and everything that was really discounted in terms of clothing and women's wear, you could actually get online. Obviously, except from the raised wear pieces in women's designer, but yeah, it was fun. Won't be rushing back. So this is most likely going to be the last evening with the Christmas decorations up. So I thought we would make the most of it and actually turn them on. I don't know where the other box is. Where's my other head? I was going to take them all down today, but I suddenly have decided I don't want to. So they're still here. I just think because I've been out all day, I want to do like a whole day thing of it and unbox my IKEA order and, you know, take everything down, clean everything. I'll probably do it tomorrow. And of course I will vlog it. So I guess we're continuing the daily vlogs, but I don't know if it'll go up next day. I don't know. We shall see. But I've loved this. I think definitely I will put it up next year. Now I've got everything for it. It will be super quick and easy to put up, but it definitely took me <laughs> maybe like two weeks to get it right because I ordered one part and then it wasn't quite right and then I needed to get some extra garlands and you know how it is, but I feel like it's pretty figured out now and I'm very, very happy with it. But I am going to go and do a little bit of tidying up upstairs. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a mess. I've got piles of laundry everywhere that I've done and haven't had a chance to put away and I took a ton of things to my mum's house and bought them back and now there's just piles. I have my Christmas gifts to put away, which I actually haven't even had a chance to show you. I got some lovely bits, some really 
thoughtful things and I am genuinely over the moon with everything. I've had the best Christmas. I can't even explain to you. I've had the most fulfilling Christmas I have ever, ever had and it's just been so perfect. And I really hope that I feel the same about my new year. I thought we'd have a little chocolate. I'm going to make a tea as well. I don't actually know what these are. It doesn't say. They're from Ladder App. I think we'll do... Oh, I don't know. Oh, we'll do this one. And we will also do... Hmm. Oh, this one, this little star. Oh wait, but does that mean it's orange? Because there's little orange flecks on there. I don't like orange chocolate. Ugh. We'll do this one. I've really been doing myself dirty over the last few days. I'm not drinking enough water and I can feel it. Although I feel like my skin's glowing today. I don't know why, but I am going to make myself a big tumbler of water and a tea. I need to stop listening to the same four songs over and over again. I need to clear out my Spotify playlist and just add some new songs because it's actually a problem. And I think I'm just like ruining my brain with it. It can't be healthy. But right here in front of me, I have, well firstly, my tea. Secondly, actually, before we get into this, my Christmas present. I got a Kindle and I have been talking for so long about getting a freaking Kindle. Never did it. And then yesterday I got a Kindle. So this, I don't know what one this is. I left the box downstairs. I have had a Kindle in the past and this is like seven, eight years ago. I haven't even set it up yet. I need to set it up. I don't think the one I even had was properly touchscreen. I think it was literally like it had buttons. But I've been wanting to get a Kindle for so long. Obviously I travel quite frequently and carry books is just not a good use of my travel weight really <laughs> I mean it's obviously not the only reason but I definitely feel like I'm missing in my life the escape of having books I love to be able to throw myself into an alternative reality and soak that up I think it's such an amazing way to just like detach from your own life for a little bit and have a bit of a break so I'm really excited about this so if you do have any book recommendations please let me know and also I heard something I think it was probably on TikTok about you can rent books from like an online kindle library for free so Something to do with having a library card. I don't know. Let me know if that's, maybe that's a US thing. I don't know. But yeah, I need to set this up and I'm very excited about it. But in here we have my empties for the year of 2023. I'm not going to show you every single one, but I thought I'd just shout out some of the ones that I really liked. So we have this Growing Alchemist Body Cleanser and Body Cream. I had both of these in my shower when I first moved in and loved them both. The Cordley Vino Therapist Body Butter. Insane. I have a mini of this, but I don't think I have a replacement. A Cordley Beauty Elixir. Love this. There's probably more than one in here. Cordley Serum. Love this. There's another one, but this is my favourite. A couple of Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream. The Kosas Brow Gel. This is really good. The Aborian Skin Therapy Night Oil. This is insane. I'm going to repurchase this. Similarly, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've already repurchased this. CeraVe cleanser. A couple of Max Factor 2000 calorie waterproofs, so I'll be surprised. A L'Oreal SPF 50 and then I actually think I have a couple of these in here, yeah. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow in the shade Colour of Dreams. Literally just pan, but this was my favourite blush and I don't actually have another, so I need to see if I can source one. But I'm going to film a TikTok on this tomorrow I think, because I think it's probably just too long to go and talk through everything so I'm going to do it in just a short snappy video so you can go and have a look what I liked, what I didn't like what I would repurchase and what I wouldn't. If there was one thing from here that I had to tell you not to buy, I would probably say this. This is the Origin Checks checks and balances frothy face wash. I didn't love this. I had this in my shower and I would say this gives you the same feeling as if you wash your face with soap. So if you're into that, maybe you'll be into this, but I don't like the squeaky clean feeling on my face. So yeah, this was a no from me, sadly. I decided to put a hair mask in so I can wash my hair tomorrow morning or tonight and then I'm going to curl it, but I actually need to dampen the ends. I love this from Michael Van Clark. Someone actually commented on my when was it? It might have been a vlog actually the other day asking what I thought to this because they'd see me use it. I actually go to Michael Van Clark to get my hair cut. So I just quite like the overall 
you know, complete set with having this to kind of care for my hair at home. And I really, really love this. I've been using it for years. I definitely don't use it as often as I should to get the results. But as someone who has super, super long hair and actually puts a lot of pressure on it by tying it up quite frequently, and I have been recently putting a lot of heat on it, this definitely saves me. The ends are looking a little wispy. This is actually what I've got in my hair right now to sleek it back. I like to use a product to put my hair into a bun or just to sleek it back in general that's actually doing something for my hair. I, I understand the whole wax sticks and gels and things like that, but I feel like they're just coating your hair and you may as well use something that's actually going to be doing something whilst it's in. Okay, I'm going to go and wet my hair because the product just works so much better and then I will loosely braid it. I also think I might put some comfy clothes on. Change of plan, evidently. The comfy clothes have not uh, happened. I'm in my gym gear because I'm going to do a walk and watch some YouTube, but this is the Kindle that I got, the Kindle Paperweight. I mean, some of my gifts are just sprawled out behind me. I was doing a little, uh, what I got for Christmas was FaceTime session with a couple of my friends. We were giving each other hauls. It was so funny, but it's got wireless charging and adjustable light. I think this one's backlit as well. Um, it's got auto adjusting brightness, glare free screen, waterproof, holds thousands of books and a single charge lasts a week. I do seem to remember my Kindle literally lasting for months and I used it so frequently. So love that. This is the charger, brilliant. I also got a little batter bowl, which is just the cutest thing in the whole entire world. This is Mason Cash and I do have a lot of Mason Cash, but this one is actually super special because it's the same color that my grandma used to have. So I love that and it's so dinky. This is the 30 size. I don't know what I'm going to use it for actually, but I mean, it, it's really handy for just, I guess like one portion things. But I do think it's very sweet. And also how hilarious, uh, you saw me running around town trying to get hold of grind beans just before Christmas. Uh, I then opened my presents and my mum got me grind beans. It was so funny. I was like, mum, I've literally just spent hours, well not hours, that's so dramatic. I literally went to Soho and then to St Pancras and then decided no, but <laughs> that is a bit of a trek, you know? And she just thought it was so funny. She actually got these from St Pancras and I think St Pancras is the only place that stocks the bags and not the tins. I can't buy the tins anymore because I just had so many of them and it just feels so wasteful. So yeah, when I can, I go to St Pancras and get the bags or I can order the bags online, but I just prefer to go in the store and get them. But yeah, I'm just carrying on with a bit of tidying. You can kind of see my gifts behind me. I decided not to film what I got for Christmas video this year. I firstly just didn't have the time in my day on Christmas day. Normally I have a really big gap between waking up and finishing opening presents and then whenever anyone comes over because I've always had a younger sibling that wakes up at like 6 a.m. or even earlier and then we're done by eight and then I would just film eight till nine and then edit it and then I, you know, would go and have my lunch. But because I was driving and I was at my sister's house, I simply didn't have time. And then obviously it's boxing day today and now we're literally in the evening and I, my DM, <laughs> my DMs are literally full of, excuse me, where is it? And I don't know, I just feel a bit, I feel a bit weird about it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's an age thing or just like a what's going on in the world thing right now, but it's never felt weird before. And now it feels weird and I'm just kind of trusting my instinct that I don't really want to be doing that. Maybe next year, maybe it won't feel weird or maybe for my birthday, doing what I got for my birthday won't feel weird. But right now, the last thing I actually want to be doing is sitting here and doing like a dedicated what I got for Christmas video. I was clearing everything out of my car and my Hunza Jeep bikini was in my boot. Don't know why, I actually got this when I went to Mykonos with L'Oreal and I was considering buying the beige version of this or black version because I have had the same like two bikinis <laughs> for like three years and just they're not looking the healthiest and now's a great time to buy bikinis because they're all discounted and I was looking at exactly this bikini but in black. So what I'm gonna do is try this and if I still like it and it, you know, I feel good in it, then I will probably order the black one. But I, yeah, I keep umming and ahhing over it. Okay, it's time. Let's wake my treadmill up. And I'm just going to do a really slow incline walk and watch some YouTube videos and scroll on TikTok. And hopefully it'll put me in a good headspace to get into bed and go to sleep. Because still, I still feel like I haven't had a chance to come down. I still feel 
completely wide. Probably because I actually took a day off vlogging and spent it driving home and back and with people all day. And now I'm back and I'm vlogging again. So really nothing's really changed. But I will be taking some time off, as I said, like for New Year's. Although I did tell myself on Christmas Eve, I was like, this is this is the end. This is Shut's laptop. And now <laughs> Boxing Day. Oh. But you know what? How lucky am I to do something that I love so much that I want to do it literally on the holidays, you know? Forever grateful for that. I was actually talking to someone the other day about sick form and about being in like year 12 and year 13 and what we thought our lives would look like. I was doing this in year 12 and year 13 and I was getting the mick taken out of me horrifically. I was barely attending school. I think my attendance was like 40%. I was teaching two of my A levels like to myself at home and hating all of it. And now I'm here and you literally, couldn't have written it. Well, it's officially that time and I am doing my best to get into good habits pre-New Year and going to bed at a reasonable time is one of them. So I'm going to do my skincare and hop into bed and actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start a list of books that I would like to read. And I don't know, like, what is a reasonable amount of books to set yourself? Oh no, is this empty now? Oh, I think there's one more use in this. But yeah, what is a sensible amount of books to set yourself as a goal to read? I see people doing like 50 books, but obviously I haven't really left space in my life for reading for a long time. So I think maybe I need to start with something pretty tame, like 20 or something like that. Like doing one a month feels so doable. And even doing two a month feels doable, but I don't want to push it. So maybe 20 for the year is quite a nice number. I'm going to put some of this, this work stress check on just on my neck and on my wrists. Oh, this smells insane. And then I'm going to do some of my cordly mask. I'm actually going to do my red light mask tonight. I haven't done that in a while, but that's another habit that I want to pick up again because when I was in like my peak wellness and health routine, I was doing that every night for 10 minutes. I feel like I told you about this, so I definitely want to pick that back up again. I feel like my skin is finally looking happier again, thank goodness. I actually don't think I have an oil in her. I need to get a new one. I love the Kate Moss one, and I also love the uh, Arborium one that I literally just finished, that you saw earlier. My new face is something else that I want to make sure I'm doing daily in times 24, maybe even like morning and night. I feel like I kind of waste the results at night because then I just go to sleep. Well, my friends, I'm going to head off to bed. Tomorrow is the day that we take the decorations down, and I'm going to do some major planning for the new year. I have an Ikea order to unbox and it's just going to be a good day and hopefully by the time I go to bed, the house will feel completely refreshed. I'll have my Christmas bedding gone, all of my Christmas decorations away and it will be ready for 2024, which is kind of scary. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, it was, this was not planned. I was not going to vlog today and then I decided to go to Harrods to the sales and I was like, well, <laughs> I may as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up goes a long way. If you haven't watched my Vlogmas, it was such a fun month and I will see you bright and early in the morning where we're going to take the decorations down. Good night.